Hey guys, welcome to the Manchester United News Channel. Subscribe to the channel to not miss any news, leave your like, and share, you are very important for the growth of the channel, let's go to the video. There is only one place to start, it is the Manchester derby on Sunday. United have won their last three by a single goal, including that dramatic victory over FC Copenhagen. Manchester City looking to end a run of two successive away league defeats against Wolves and against Arsenal. First to United, our senior reporter Melissa Reddy is uh, in situ and uh, ready to speak to us. Melissa, very good afternoon to you. Let's start off uh, with Alejandro Garnacho's social media post uh, to his teammate Andre Nana, which included two gorilla emojis. What's been the reaction from the club, Melissa? Manchester United are supporting Alejandro Garnaccio, much like Andre Onana did. Now, we know that he could face an FA charge if they consider that post, which featured two gorilla emojis above the United keeper, to be racially sensitive. Onana has come out and said he's not been offended by the post. He knows exactly what Garnacho meant, that it was signifying strength and power and that the matter should go no further. The problem is that it was shared to a wide audience, the post, before it was deleted. So it's not a case of whether just Onana felt offended or not because it was not a private post between the pair, but whether anybody else could have taken offence and whether it was a breach of the FA's social media guidelines. Now, we do have precedents for this. We do have other instances we can look to, and that is the 2020 situation of Edison Cavani, and before that, the 2019 situation with Bernardo Silva and Benjamin Mendy. Now, in both those instances, there was no intention to be racist or involve in any racial language uh, and it was fun and endearing content but still it was a breach of the FA social media guidelines and there were people wider than the person involved in the post that did take offence. So that is what United and Garnacho are currently dealing with. Ten Hag was asked whether he's concerned that the player might not be available as this progresses, and here was his response. Uh, so, uh, not in this moment. So we are uh, talking um, with FA, but yeah, what you see, um, and I can... Um, confirm that and I can I want to emphasize that we are together uh, we are united and you will be have seen that at the post of uh, Andre Onana and Melissa we, we await uh, any uh, action from the FA to see if this story moves along um, on another topic Marcus Rashford's form has come under real scrutiny since signing his, his new contract at Manchester United uh, is Eric Ten Hag concerned about that? Well, Eric Ten Hag has picked Marcus Rashford and started him in all but one of Manchester United's fixtures this season. And that's seen a return of only one goal from Rashford. So by his own standards, by the club standards, he is not performing anywhere close to his level. But this is not an individual issue. It's a collective issue. United's attack is struggling, struggling in terms of chance creation, but also converting any chances that they are able to create. Now, Ten Hag gave a detailed explanation of areas they are doing really well in, like regains in the middle area of the pitch, but they're not turning any of those into profitable situations in an attacking sense. And he says in possession, they're still struggling. So he wants the distribution to Rashford to be better and for the whole team to work to put him into better areas. But overall, I think what we've seen ten, from Ten Hag is a real trust and faith that Rashford will return to scoring goals, which is why he is persisting with him, as the manager explained to us. Especially give him the trust and I play him every game. And most of the games also, uh, he finished the game. And so I have a strong belief he will return to, to scoring a lot of goals. 
back in training for Manchester United. Casemiro is touch and go for the game. And Eric Ten Hag says Manchester United have become a tough team to beat. Well, Manchester City will certainly want to put that to the test. So that is our senior reporter, Melissa Reddy. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel to not miss anything. Leave your like and comment it's very important for the channel growth. Until the next video.